Hey everybody, it's Xfantasy LPS here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make an LPS icon. So let's get started. First thing, you're going to go to pixlr.com, and you spell it like P-I-X-L-R, and it should look like this when you open it up. <clears throat> so now you're just going to open up the Open Pixlr Editor. And then this big box will come up, and you're just going to say create a new image. And then it comes up as the width for 800 and the height for 600. And so that's how a icon should be, so just click OK. And now this big white template come up, and um, now what you want to do is make a gradient, which is basically a color. <clears throat> So they have all kinds of colors. They have pink, blue, purple, and rainbows and other colors that you probably don't want on your icon. I'm just going to go ahead and pick out a purple. And so now what I'm going to do is click on this little square and go to color. And then I'm going to take the color to purple and make it dark. Okay, make this one, I'm going to make it a little lighter purple, like this. Okay, make this one a bit lighter. This one lighter as well that's good and then for the last one you can leave it so now you have your purple and you you what, what you do now is just trace a straight line down the template and it has to be straight because otherwise the gradient won't look good okay so now you have your purple gradient up and now what you're going to do is go to File up in the corner and say Open Image. And then you're just going to search for your littlest pet shops. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a random LPS. I don't really like that LPS. Okay, so once you have picked your LPS and it should look like big like this and now what you're going to do is take your crop tool and you're just going to crop the LPS like this and then you're just gonna click outside the box and click yes and then you should have a big box with your pet and a white box and now what you do is take the select tool the mark tool and you're gonna mark the LPS a little smaller and then click the move tool and move your LPS onto the template and then just X out of this okay and once you've done that you're just going to make the LPS a little smaller because sometimes it's really big and you need to fit other things on the icon so just make it a bit smaller and then yes Alright, and then what you're done is you're going to move the LPS where you want it, like this is good. And then you're going to take your wand tool and select all of the whites, and then take your eraser tool and put it at the highest it can go, and then just erase all of that white and so yeah there we go and then once it's well whoops <laughs> once it's all erased it will have a little bit more white so then what you do to fix that is go to layers over here and click layer one and go to layer styles and then this big box will come up and you just select outer glow and 
then put the color as white or you can put it as black sometimes black looks good and then you can put the hardness and that's okay so now it looks better as you can tell and then what you're gonna do is go to file save and save it I'll save it as test icon YouTube okay and click OK and then you can save it and then when it says image saved you're going to go to pickmonkey.com and once you get to the website it should look something like this and then click on edit a photo and let's search our photo test icon okay and then it should load and open up your photo here alright then and now what you're gonna do is it has these options you can resize it, sharpen colors exposure rotate or crop it but since we already did all that we can just go straight to effects and once you get to effects they have all of these cool effects and so my favorites personally is tranquil and it just makes it really cute and lighter but sometimes I exit out on the eyes because the eyes are like black and it makes them look nicer so that's what I like to do alright so next you just click apply and then you can click Orton, Cross, Process, Dusk, Interpret, or Urbane. And I like Dusk. And so I'm just going to fade it a little bit like that and click Apply. And I also like Frost. And but I'm going to just make the size a little smaller. Like maybe like that. That's good. And then just click Apply. And then what you can go is to text. You can add some text. This is just touch up and it's for faces instead of LPS. So we don't use that on LPS. Go straight to text and I really like shadows and two lights too. It's free. You don't have to be a partner. So I'm just going to click on that and then click add text. And then you can say whatever text you want. I like that. And then you can highlight it and then change the color. I'm going to make it a dark purple. And you can make the size a little bigger. And then you can place it like wherever on earth you want. You can spin it around, you can rotate it like this, and you can even change the way it blends, like you can make it add, which makes it lighter. You can make it to multiply, which makes it multiply of the color. I like lighten, and I'm just going to make it a bit darker of a color and that's really nice and so when you have your text just go right to your overlays and what that does is it gives you extras to put on the photo so I really like these things called sparkle stars because they look really nice in the eyes so you just put them at the edge of the eye and then erase the rest of the sparkles and then it looks really nice and the next thing that you can do you can add a mustachio which is super cute and you can put it like that really cute so <laughs> yeah can put it up here probably it looks best like right here <laughs> Alright, 
And next you can add like symbols. I have some symbols. You can add some hearts. I think I'm going to add a heart here. Like I could add this pretty heart. And then just can drag it and put it on my icon. There we go. And the next thing you can make a frame and me and my best friend, I'm Lime LPS, really love craft scissors. And so I love the bump edge. It looks like this. And then just click on border color and you can change the color. I'm going to put it as a dark purple. Like, that's kind of pink. Well, that's good. Okay, and then it looks like this. Oh, whoops. Oh, and click apply. And I'm just going to move this over here a little bit. Alright. And you can also add textures, like they have space. <laughs> and it blends, and you can erase it with your tool if you want. And just click cancel if you don't want it. <laughs> Alright. And next, you can add themes, like they have, they have winter lands, and you can add snow if you want, and then you can erase it, or they have frost, oh, discard, alright, and you can put frost aside the edges, it, you can put any kind of theme that you want. You can make a scary theme, or you can make like a Valentine's theme. That's pretty. I love that. But we're not going to do that today. Okay, and so then once you're done with your really pretty icon, what you can do is go to this bar up here and click Save. And then it will load, and then you can choose the dimensions. I always pick JPG, and you can make the background color if you want. And then you can choose the quality. You can make it Roger with his not great quality and a tiny file size. Um, great quality and good file size, which I prefer the most, or gorgeous but large file size. But if you put it as this, then it'll be too big. So just put it as Pierce, and that's really good. And then you can come over here to Save Photo and click on that. And then you can just save it, and then it is saved. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and maybe it will help you a little bit. And if it did, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!